Hello. We're going to be trying to do more regular updates, giving you some feedback on comments that have been made under the YouTube videos, things that's been occurring, and sort of ideas that I've been having to improve the whole mission forwards. Now, what I do think is important is that we get you sitting up for the duration of this video. I am surprised with how many people come to get my advice. They tell me they're mewing all the time, and yet I watch them. I do saying what is ineffective. They're not doing it enough of the time. And if you want to gain change, you've got to be thinking about this more. I mean, I should be thinking about it more. I, I struggle to remember to mew all the time. Now, try to sit up straight, hands in your lap. If this is a great moment to set a video on yourself to see how you're doing most of the time, because that's the critical eye, isn't it? You know, everyone can do something when they're thinking about it. It's remembering to do something when you're not thinking about it. And that's what really counts. So what have we done recently? We did a face yoga video with Coco from California. <clears throat> well, originally from Japan, but she's now in California. <clears throat> and I was very interested in what she was saying. Because I'm trying to gain, or Mewing is trying to gain, an upswing in the overall facial form using the big muscles of the masseters, temporalises, pterygoids, and the tongue clearly on the roof of the mouth, you know. And I think that it, it, it's very effective, it works. Um, if you manage to change yourself, you can gain significant health and aesthetic benefits. But of course, what Coco's looking at is the surface muscles. These are the muscles of facial expression. You know, when I talk about the Mona Lisa swallow, I'm talking about trying to do a swallow where your face is calm, it's relaxed. And that's a good example of how you should not be engaging the muscles of facial expression. You know, if you do a swallow, well, what you've done is you've reciprocated the force of the tongue by engaging the facial muscles and that's exactly what you shouldn't be doing so what should you be doing with the muscles of facial expression and that's what i go with coco and i was a bit fascinating what she was saying she was talking about some muscles she highlighted i think the red muscles which she was saying we were using too much and of course that would be aberrant swallowing patterns and also what i hadn't thought of before she was talking about the muscles that we should use more that we aren't using enough and she showed me some nice photographs where people had changed really nice facial changes from instigating these types of exercises or yoga i think maybe we go beyond exercise to how we are with something like yoga now clearly i'm, I'm encouraging her to take you know the, the types of photographs i'm encouraging you all to take these reproducible ones so we could we can investigate this to the lowest possible level and get as much out of that as we possibly can so anyway that's what i did with coco please go and see it the um, link is in the description underneath here now what we're also going to be doing is i my biggest critic is my father, and I would imagine my father's biggest critic is me. And really, these are often storms and teacups, because as much as we disagree on these little areas, we agree on 99.9%. .9%. But it's in discussion that you learn. And so we've always had a very healthy appetite for disagreement in my household. And what I'm going to do is go regularly try and post videos of me and dad picking up things where we don't agree because I think you'll find it interesting and this is where th that cutting edge is that cutting edge of understanding what's happening and I think you know I can't think of anyone I know who I can get a better didactic discussion with where we're really open-minded and we're trying to find answers we're really sort of trying not to hold on to our points of view and trying to find out, find the truth. Um, the big thing at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, so the start, one we start with is this back third of the tongue, because quite a few people have 
pointed out to my father that they're struggling to breathe when they're mewing with the back third of the tongue engaged. And this is something where I changed from my father. So I, I learned what he had to say and then I went out to learn to other people. And the person who really highlighted the back third of the tongue to me was Angela Kane. So I did interview Alex Evans, and I'll put that video down below as well, some time ago. And he was taught by Angela Kane. She was a very strong willed. Um, I think her background has been in teaching people to sing. And she started realizing, I think she had this incident where she, so she, someone had had expansion with an orthodontist and she found that it was very successful in helping this person to improve their singing ability. And she then got into this cross link between orthodontics and singing. And as you'll see with that, um, the voice gym that Alex Evans and I go through, I think that there's really some interesting stuff here that we need to tease out. Anyway, she taught me about the back third of the tongue. She gave me the cheesy smile exercise that helps you get the back third of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And I, I found that was very effective. It's something that I didn't get from my father. And we go through this discussion with him about the back third of the tongue. And I think, to be honest, as often with a disagreement, a lot of it is our preconcepts, what we're talking about. So when we start narrowing down our what, bits we're talking about, we realise actually we're not in as much disagreement as we previously thought. But other ways, it's, it's good to have those discussions. And, you know, I think you might find them interesting. Is that going? Yeah, that's going. Okay. Is that staying still? Seems still. Okay, let me hold it up like that. It's just a slight angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is now an angle, but then it's just because the other thing, right. changed, the other cup. Okay, so there we go. Now, a couple of people criticised us for having things in the background. Wait a minute. The kitchen dresser forms a nice background. Yeah, but I mean, but there were some things in the background. Right. Okay. And people were saying, oh, you advertising. Oh, there was a Colgate thing in the background. There was <laughs> advertising. So, um... I was just checking the lots of things. So we've got about what twenty minutes half now for kids are running back here. Has Miller taken them up to the treehouse or No, they've gone they've gone looking for um mushrooms. Yeah, they've gone mushroom picking. It's as we came in, Miller saw oh. some mushrooms yes. on the um dry yes, and she yes. was all like Um now one so so Dad, I was interested in this um uh inability to breathe when you're mewing. Yeah, this thing. Because lots, lots of people, of people talk, tell me they can't. Yeah, but well, it's because I think people lack tongue space. You think so? Because um, I think it's because they put their tongue too far back. Well, you, but if you have lack of tongue space, you're going to tend to put your tongue further back, aren't you? Oh, are you? Well, I'm, you know, I'm short of evidence on that, but you might be right. Well, okay, okay. So what I'm saying, the, the thing I've really pushed that you never mentioned to me, you know, I, I discovered yeah. that from Angela Kane. Yeah. Who was talking a lot about the back of the tongue. Yeah, I know, the pharynx, yeah. No, 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 the back third of the tongue. She showed me a technique for getting the back third of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. But you can't, it's attached to the larynx. The back third of the tongue? Yes. Well, where do you think the tongue stops? Where it goes all the way down. The, 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 it's attached to the larynx. Yeah, 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 but that's the, the, that's the, the bottom. That's the bottom of it. It's the bottom of it. It's attached well, to the that's where you're so working. So if, you, if you work along the tongue till you get to the bit, you know the bit that comes from... But that's the, what is it called? The V-shaped bit where all the glands are. Yeah, yeah, the V-shaped bit. You know, the back yes. third. But that... Yes? Well, that is... The back third is very, very tough because the tongue goes yeah, from the tip right the, around the, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I, it's we the, need to find, look in a dictionary to find a proper word because I think it's, that, it's, it's the ex, it's a bit of tongue that's innovated by the uh, exoderm, endoderm, endoderm, endoderm. Well, it would be the either the seventh or the ninth nerve. Yes. Yes. I don't know which is which. You'd have to look it up. I'd, I'd have to look it I up. Think, I should have done that before this. I think it's the seventh nerve up to the villiform. What is it? Villiform something. That the villiform papilla. Yes. Yes. 
the final form, the villa form, and there was another one. Well, I can't remember all these oh, things. Yeah. Yeah. 50 years. <laughs> yeah, well, it's only sort of 30 years. Since it's more than 50 years since we did that. Yeah, probably, yeah. Some margin. Yeah. Probably. Is. Okay. All right. So, go, go, so, we need to get well, in well, mind. Well, well, to yeah, yeah, yeah. talk. Yeah, okay, okay. So, people struggling to breathe when they're mewing. Yeah. It's because they lack tongue space, basically. Yeah, but Millie, we're still videoing here. Have you got a whole bag full of yes. mushrooms? Crumba. Lovely, uh, yum yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I want those for lunch. I will make them really nice with the eggs and the... Not, okay, okay, we're still videoing at the moment. Yeah, we've got the rest of them coming in. Um, Wait a second, I may need a bag. Okay. Um, okay, should we um, start this again? Yeah, but I don't really want to have a discussion. Oh, I, I mean, does. I think all they have to do is because say, you, 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 you. she's already. Well, you see, we're going to the garden. You don't need shoes. No, but I want to go up there to look for mushrooms. You mean you've already got a bag of mushrooms? But it's a different mushroom. Oh, different mushrooms. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, you go to the playroom uh, with Serena. Take in the playroom. I. I, I tell them just to say tin, T-I-N-G, put the tongue on the palate, tin, then breathe Wait, deadly no, through the nose, it. and then gently close them up. Yeah, but that's still not getting the back third up there. Well, I don't think you want any more than that up. I think that's no, the right no, amount. No, 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 you need to get the back third of the tongue up. But, but, uh, you Otherwise, you, you've not. It's the power. We, thing is, the um, ectodermal tissue. Well, uh, that, that's why I'm getting better results. <laughs> I said me personally. Well, yeah. But I, and what change have you got? Well, um, I can't get. My of course, you can't get the back third of your tongue up there. You I don't can't have get space. it further back. And I don't no, see I'm talking about getting the back third of the tongue up. Because if the back of the tongue gets up, you form a full seal from the front of the tongue to the back of the tongue. Yes, but you're likely to block the nasal um, aperture. Yeah, because you don't have enough tongue Serena, space. Come. Well, I think, but you don't want to push the soft palate up uh, because that will block the airway. You, 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 you shouldn't be pushing the soft palate, the whole soft palate up. You should put that anterior segment well, therefore, of the soft palate well, that, up. That's, but we have never decided, and we need to, what do you mean by the back of the tongue? Because I think you mean one thing, I mean another. Yeah, yeah, I think we probably do mean another thing. But, um... Uh, we, and that's, uh, we need to decide that before we make a film, or else we'll look uh, ridiculous. Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 common sense. Okay, okay. Um, we'll cut that. Okay, the other... To me, the back of the tongue is a bit that runs down to the trachea. No, I'm talking the bit, the bit after the V-shape. Well, the, the, that, that's form. why. I say you're talking of a different bit of tongue than I am. Yeah, I'm talking about the bit behind the V, the villa yes, form. The, the word the back form is a very form. difficult word to define. Okay. So you really hijacked that halfway through. I did? Yes. With what? <laughs> There's an old phrase. I think it was Charlie Chaplin said it. Don't work with children or animals. And I could probably add, don't work with your parents. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing that I've worked so well and so closely with my father for so long. But clearly we are a father and son team and sometimes that's how we act. However, I think we have a good discussion. We don't come to complete agreement. That's the nature of science. We're going to visit this subject again. So please do watch this space. So guys, I hope you're still sitting up with your lips together in good body posture, hands relaxed on your laps, holding a suction hold. See how long you can hold your hyoid in an engaged position with your neck in a good position and really relaxed through your central core. This is how we should be, not how we should act for short periods. Fantastic. <laughs>